How you guys? Back here, Spare Mario, back with another video, and you already know that I'm finna be speaking so real dope for sure. You know how was your day? How you feel? You know, regardless of if you gotta wake up in the morning to go to a job, or regardless of this coronavirus shit, regardless of anything that's taking you off your square, like school or school online, anything, bro, anything that's taking you off your square, you still gotta wake up in the morning and feel happy, nigga. Cause if you wake up in the morning feeling bad, you just feeling bad. That show suck. That show fault or whatever, you know. I mean, shit. Watch my videos to feel good or whatever, bro. For real. But yeah, you know, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below how you feel about your day once again. How you feel about this video? Anything you could comment down, some negative, some fucked up. You know, I ain't gonna get mad, bro. You know, I might just comment back or like the comment. You know, you feel me? But yes, bro. Do me a favor and comment down below or subscribe or do that and this and that. But further ado, let's get into this video. All right, man. Y'all see the caption. Y'all see the name. Y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all see anything that have something to do with this video. The reason why you clicked on this video. And before we get into, like, the actual I'm talking to y'all, please, if I say one thing, do not click off this video. Or if I say one thing, do not click and go comment down below and be like it's this and that and when you need to see the whole video you got to watch the whole video for you to say some you know have your opinion you got to watch just like you watch movies at the end of the movie you look at the opinion like all right i'm gonna give it an opinion you feel me give the opinion when this video is over but yes let's talk about it i was gonna be talking about our past lives this is my opinion. I don't give a fuck your opinion. I don't give a fuck about your opinion or nothing. This is my opinion. This is how I feel about past lives. If you have a problem with it, you know, deal with it. Sexualize that down in the comment section. Talk your shit in the comment section. And I didn't get it off nobody. Didn't get off nobody. I just thought about it because I was talking about it with my cousin a long time ago. He was like, bro, you should make a video about it, you know? And I just like, all right, I'm just going to make a video about it, so... Yeah, um, past lives, past lives. Like, what I mean about past lives as if us human beings was on this earth again. Like, you looking at my video right now, and you, you human being, you have your own mind or whatever. You've been on this earth again before. You've been on this earth before. Have y'all ever heard of deja vu or any fucking thing or anything? That's the reason why. Like, I feel like. The deja vu is some warning us like, bro, you've been on this life before and you've seen this before and you've been through that before. So, you know, have y'all ever questioned deja vu? Have y'all ever questioned Like, what the fuck? Like, why is deja vu here? Like, why? Like, what the fuck? I remember this happening and it didn't even happen before, you know? Some in your dream or anything. Like, I feel like we've been to this bit before. We've been to this earth before. Like, when we die, we come back to life, and, you know, we all, we do this life over again until we figure out what's going on, until we figure out how we're going to regulate that, until we figure out what, how, like, you know, I feel like, you know, we need to do something, like, I don't know, I don't know what to say, I don't know, I don't know, I just know that we are transcending to this life over and over until we get the shit right, until we get our life right. And the reason why I say that is because you know how you don't remember nothing as a child or as a baby, you don't remember nothing. You don't remember nothing. I feel like, bro, when you when you born, they give you all these shots, they give you all these shots to forget who you were when you when you died and everything. Like you know when you die, you come back to life and you come back to life as reincarnation as a baby and they give you all these shots to forget your past life to forget who you was before you die i mean after you die you know forget your memories they give you all these shots they give you all these vaccines they give you all this bullshit that you don't need they say that you need that to survive but you don't need that shit when you a baby but when you get all these shots i mean like I'm not, this is my opinion. I don't give a fuck if your opinion bullshit. Like, I, yes, you do need that. You don't need it. Only way, the only reason why you say that you need them shots and shit because you heard the doctor say, or you need these shots for your baby to survive. 
They need these shots for your baby to survive or anything, or you need these shots for you to survive as a child or as a baby. But they give you these shots and you forget everything that happened from your past life because nothing can take you from your memories but the shots that they giving you, the, the drugs that they are progressing in your fucking body. That shit can actually make you forget your past lives, forget what you was doing back then, and forget, you know, anything. Forget your death or whatever. And I feel like, yeah, they're giving you these shots for you to forget every fucking thing. To forget it. They want you to forget it so you can come back on this life and you can just do life all over again. Do it fucked up. Like, do it how you want to do it. You know, live. And they want you to forget your past life. They want you to forget your past life because if you, if they don't give you these shots and shit and you come back on this earth and just remember everything from your past life, you will look at it different. You will like, damn, bro, this is crazy. Like, you will get so much answers like, bro, I thought I was going to go to heaven. I thought I was going to go to hell. I thought I was going to this and that, you know? But I feel like, yeah, like, um, I'm not going to say it's not no heaven. I'm not going to say it's not no hell. I feel like we are in, this is life, this life right here, this is hell to me. To me, it's hell because... Y'all seen in the Bible before, they said, all right, you know, the devil once was a um Jesus. I mean, once was a God. He was like on the side of, you know, God. And then he disobeyed him and he kicked him off the boat and he sent them to this life. He sent them to this earth right here to fuck up this whole earth. This is the devil's plan. This is life. This is hell. We go through pain, physical pain, and mental pain. The mo worst pain. Why would God, you know, give us hell after this life when we already been through hell? So, you know, why would we get hell when we been through hell? So, what's the point? God damn, that's fucked up if he give us hell when we been through hell on this life. I mean, it's a choice to go through hell on this life. But, you know, it's life. Life is life. We live, we live. How you live right now. It been predicted before. God knew that you was finna live like this. God knew you was finna be homeless. God knew you, all this and that. He planned that, you know? He planned everything. And I feel like, you know, why would God or anything put these human beings on this earth for them to make guns and stuff? God knew that they was finna make guns. God knew all this and that, but he still go ahead and put us Put them on this earth to fuck up this whole earth. He knew this shit was going to happen. But, you know, back to what I was saying. Yes, past lives. Past lives, this shit is happening now. You have to remember who you are. You have to remember. Even if you don't remember, you have to make a change in your life before it's too late. Because you can die tomorrow. You can die today. You can die anytime. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that you're going to die today or tomorrow or anything. I'm not going to say that. I'm not bringing hopes for you. I'm not putting bad luck on you. I'm just saying anybody can die anytime. The Reaper is every day is not promised for you. The Reaper comes and it goes. People can die expectantly. You can be walking, get hit by a bus or anything, but I'm not bringing bad luck to you. I'm just saying change now and not later. Because once you die, you die. You don't got no more to you know and i feel like if we do not change none on this life if we don't impact anybody if we don't impact another human being we're going to come back to this bitch as another human being and another human being body as a baby and go through hell all over again you know it's a whole it's 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 a way around of it. it's a way around of it. i look at it as that you know uh, everything in the Bible, I don't believe, but everything, like some things in the Bible, I believe, and I just flip it. I flip it. I flip the switch and I just look at it differently because how I feel about the Bible and shit, I'm not going to disrespect Jesus. I'm not going to disrespect the Bible. How I feel, this is my opinion. The white people brung out, they brung out this, um, this white Jesus. They brung out who he was, how he looked. Directly how he looked, how he dressed, what the things he said that day that he came back to life or anything. They know every step that he did. Men made, they did everything and they put it out as 
It's all for the black people. They put it out in this Bible and they throw it out for us to, you know, praise this Jesus. Knowing our people out there is homeless. Knowing our people out there is going through mental and physical pain. All that. In the Bible, they don't actually tell you how to face this problem. They don't tell you why do we need to be in a fucking big ass church to talk to God? Why do we need to be in a church to talk to God? Why we can't be at home and talk to God? You know, it's a lot of homeless people out there that's still homeless. That that church right there, that can be the homeless people house. Them homeless people can be living in the house. But instead, we in a million dollar or yeah, a million dollar church talking to God. That's the only way we can talk to God is within the church or praying, which we ain't even gonna talk to God. We think, shit, we looking crazy like we talking to God, but we, we, you praying and shit, like you sitting there praying, you don't hear shit, but you just talking. It's weird. But I'm not going to say it's not a God. I'm not going to say it's a higher power. It's a higher power. Everything is a higher power. I feel like God is within all of us. We are gods. We, us human beings, create reality within our minds and within everything. But you have to find what's good for you within your heart. Your heart was here before your mind. Find what, you know, find something that that satisfy you. But everybody don't have the mind I have. I've been born different. I've been born different. I've been born standing out. That's why I feel like I I feel like I've been on this earth so many times. The fact that our right, God gave me another chance and put me back on this earth. And now he's trying to show me like, bro, you've been on this earth too many times, bro. You need to get your life together. It's too much going on in my life. And it's so much going on in my mind that like, it's just things just flowing, flowing. Everything happening in life. just like giving me lessons, life lessons. Like, bro, this and that. And as I'm walking through this life, I'm getting wisdom from it. I'm really getting wisdom. As a child, I, I knew about everything about this shit. I just never expressed it on YouTube. I never gave out my answers on YouTube. I just kept it to myself. I kept it to myself. I was that one weird kid that everybody don't believe. Like, oh, the Illuminati and shit. You know, this and that. I was that one kid that just loved to talk about that. And I just loved to talk about that. And I thought I was alone. I thought I was the only person that was actually, you know, going through this shit. Like, actually saying shit like that. But when I went on YouTube... Back then, long time ago, I just checked it out. Like, damn, I, I'm not the only person that's talking about this. It's crazy. But how I thought about, you know, just start making videos about it because I just like, you know, it's a prophecy, a prophecy. I have to touch another human being's mind. I have to. It's not even really about the money. It's not even really about the money no more because I can die tomorrow and be famous tomorrow and all that money come to waste. It's not even about the money no more. It's about touching another human being mind and making them better, better they self. I'm telling y'all, this is life. When you die without a purpose, when you die and you ain't fulfilled your purpose and fulfill you being happy, you gotta come on this bitch again. You gotta do it all over again until you actually get it right. And so that prophecy come to you and show you that you've been on this earth so many times that you need to get this shit together. Newer babies is coming to this life. And them newer babies is past lives. The family member that you died, that died in your family. And another baby produced. That can be your mother or your father that died the other day. You never know. That's how I feel. And all these shots that they produce in your fucking body that you don't need. Because you as a human being, you are more powerful than anything. Once you come in this life, you can control anything. You can control what's around you, who you hang with. You can do whatever you want. You don't need these doctors to... You can self-care yourself. You can self-care you. You can make your own self happy. You don't need these doctors. That's why I say these foods that we eat and producing in our body... We eat these to the point where we need these doctors. We look at these doctors as gods. We look at these doctors as gods 
And we praise these doctors like they're going to really save our lives when they're really making money off us. Why do we need doctors? Why? If you, if we get into car accidents and shit, we need to stop drinking. We need, listen, we need to stop drinking. Stop being on our phones while we driving. And we don't need a fucking doctor. Stop eating these type of foods. Stop eating these type of foods. Stop. But I, shit, I'm eating that shit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. That shit good. It's good. You know, we only got one life. And we might, we might got another one. We might got another one. But it ain't gonna be good for us in another one. Just, I'm just scared to be reincarnated because I don't want to come back on this life to do this shit over again because the most pain I ever experienced, the most pain, I, the most pain ever, shit. I love y'all, man. I just want to talk to y'all about it because it's, I just got so deep in it to the point where like, damn, I can't even stop talking about it because it feel good to talk about it. And I want to touch another human being, bro. I promise you. Just keep your mind open, keep your third eye open, and we out. Peace.